find what's crackalackin'. My name's Amel and you're watching Newsbreak. Check on your best space gear because NASA history has just been made here in Australia. Last night, a group of scientists launched the first rocket from the brand new Arnhem Space Centre. Here's Joe. Oh, mate, you missed the ride. T minus 30 seconds to lift up. Oi, oi, what's going on here? Hey, mate, how you doing? Sir, what are you doing here? I'm just having a gaze, mate. I heard there was some space thing going on. You can't be here. It's aliens, isn't it? No, it isn't aliens. Here at the Arnhem Space Centre near Nullanboy in the NT, NASA has launched a research rocket, which is very exciting. Yeah! Well, what are you researching? It's aliens, yeah? Again, no. The rocket is carrying an X-ray quantum calorimeter, which sounds very fancy, because it is. It's basically an X-ray camera that'll help them observe things like the Milky Way and unlock more secrets about the structure and evolution of the cosmos. You're bound to find aliens with all that, surely. <laughs> Why did we choose to do this here? NASA chose Arnhem Land because they're interested in space phenomena that can only be seen from the Southern Hemisphere. And also because it's not far from the equator, which means rockets can get to space quicker and use less fuel. It's the first time in more than 25 years that they've launched a rocket from Australia. But it won't be the last time. There'll be two more launches here before the end of July. And many people hope this will help kickstart Australia's space ventures. So definitely no aliens then, yeah? The G7 Summit is underway in the Bavarian Alps. The G7, or Group of Seven Summit, is a gathering of leaders from the world's leading economic countries, which includes Japan, Canada, the US, the UK, the European Union, Italy, France and Germany. They meet each year to talk about the biggest problems facing the world and what they can do to help. This year's big focus is around support for Ukraine and more sanctions for Russia. If you live in New South Wales, you're probably pretty happy right now because they dominated the state of origin on the weekend. Here's Kale with the results. If you're a Queenslander, well, you're probably pretty sick of seeing this. Oh yes, he's there. Yep, coming into halftime, this was only a two-point game. But after the break, it was all about the Blues. The Blues are on a rampage. Nathan Cleary scored two tries and the Blues ran home five as they romped their way to a 44-12 victory in Perth. And again, if you're a Queenslander, look away now. And she's going to score a brilliant try for the Blues! In front of a record 11,000 fans in Canberra, New South Wales has won the Women's State of Origin for 2022. This game was a little closer, but this 67th minute try by player of the match, Isabel Kelly, secured the win for the Blues. Isabel Kelly will ice the origin for New South Wales. This is the annual Darwin beer can regatta. It's boats! Yeah! If you haven't worked it out, locals build boats made out of beer cans and race them down at Mindle Beach. There were croc boats, Viking boats, and also, well, sinking boats. Boy, did people love it. My favourite part um, was the bit when um, they ended. These next stories have got me asking and singing. What have you done today to make you feel proud? Vroom. To kick us off, it doesn't get much prouder than Pride Month. Every year in June, people all around the world celebrate LGBTQIA plus pride. And to celebrate here in Australia, they made a massive progress flag. Well, a human version of it. Around a thousand people got together in Sydney to mark 44 years since the first gay and lesbian Mardi Gras in Sydney. And wowza, so many colours. Ladies and gentlemen, here is our champion. Meet Mr. Happy Face, the incredible, ugliest dog on the entire planet. Yep, you heard that right. And his owner couldn't be prouder. It feels incredible that there is recognition of true inner beauty. All sorts of ugly dogs meet in California for this competition. Mr. Happy Face is wonderful. I love his crooked head, his hairless body, 
He's all pimply and he's just adorable but ugly at the same time. Finally, to one very proud mama and her very adorable newborn, Alay. Alay is the second white rhino born at Cuba's National Zoo, which is super exciting because they're an endangered species. But also, who wouldn't be proud to add this cutie to the pack? Well, that's all we have today. We'll see you tomorrow.